Fred Film Radio, I'm David Martos. This is the 79th edition of the Mostar de Venezia, and we are here with the team of the film Nuclear by Mr. Oliver Sohn. And we're here with Joshua Goldstein and Fernando Zoritin, too. Thank you very much for being here. Well, it's our pleasure uh, to, uh, for you to invite us. <laughs> Can I please uh, ask you to have the microphone oh, next yeah. to your mouth? Perfect. So, uh, Mr. Sohn, um, this movie comes handy in this energy crisis. I mean, it is very on time. Um, why did you decide to, to, to tell us to us? Well, this movie's been in the works for two years uh, of editing. Uh, I read a book by Josh Goldstein and his partner, Stefan Quist, called A Bright Future, in which he's, for, the, for a change, it's not apocalyptic. It's not describing the end of the world. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of these movies. I'm sick of these books. We're warning us, warning us, it'll change your lifestyle. There is a way to mm -hmm. do and be practical. We were on the road to we were on the road to improving our use of energy in the 1970s and 80s, but it went off off the road because of the environmentalist groups that attacked it. Okay, mm -hmm. and there was also oil companies put money into the campaign against nuclear energy. Nuclear energy was confused deliberately with nuclear bomb, so people were scared. And they're scared still of nuclear energy. Fear is a mind killer. So also, they've been taught to be scared of radiation. Radiation has existed since the planet is warmed by radiation. Radiation is a friend at a low level, at a low level. Okay. Only at high levels is it dangerous. So all of this has been nonsense, has been brooded in the air, and scared people away. And politically, the politicians being follow the, the will of the people, they, they cut back on the nuclear, they stop building reactors. Okay. We've got to build more reactors. And this is what this book is about and what the movie is about. I urge you to see it. I think it clears up the issue and simplifies it. Because there is a way out of this madness that we're in where we're so negative. We've got to be positive. There is a possibility of a very good future for everyone. And why would you say in a few words that, uh, why would you say that a nuclear energy is better for fighting the climate change than the so-called clean energies, like wind, solar, etc.? Well, renewables are great. We, we encourage them, that's sun and uh, uh, solar and uh, wind. Yeah. This is all fine, but they don't make the numbers, the big numbers. You can't do enough with that. The cleanest, simplest, most effective energy, the most volume comes from nuclear energy. I'd like to have Josh just yeah, say course. something about it. Yeah. yeah, we need solutions that work, proven solutions, because we don't have much time. The world is not on track to solve this problem. And we know nuclear is a proven solution because France and Sweden uh, have already done it. They decarbonized their electricity grid. And the most impressive thing, they did it so fast. 15 years in France. They okay. got rid of fossil fuels and replaced it with nuclear power, which is carbon free, no carbon emissions. And nobody's done that with uh, renewables or any other way. But this is a proven solution. We hope for new technologies may develop fusion power or any number of things. But this we know works. And we don't have a lot of time. We need to go to the solution that works. Mm. Fernando, would you like to add anything to this? I think that this is a very important film and a very important message because everything needs to work together. Renewables and nuclear and peace, which is another big factor. Because we don't have time to play around. We really need to cooperate, everyone, on this big subject. We hear the heat wave, the floods, killing here, killing there. It's, it's there, but we have the solution. So let's be practical about it. Okay. It's been a brief but interesting conversation with the team of Nuclear Out of Competition here in Venice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fred. Thank you. A pleasure. I'm David Martos and this is Fred, the Festival Insider.